Today we're going on a little adventure over the border to find some exotic fruit. Acabamos de pasar la frontera con New South Wales. So we just passed into New South Wales from Queensland and we're going to a farm that sells exotic fruits and we're going there for one specific fruit but we'll have to wait and see if they have it because she said yesterday that there was only six left and they sell out really fast. dark history for the sugar cane here in Queensland. Turn left onto Cajun Road. Which includes blackbirding which is a horrible thing where they would steal people from the South Sea Islands and bring them here as forced labour for slavery. Apparently it's still happening, well they're not stealing them now but they are bringing people here and treating them very badly to work on the sugar cane fields up north. So not here. So we made it to Tropical Fruit World. It took us an hour and a half to get here. So we just parked and they have avocados just sitting up there. Look. It says here, you can pick your friends, but please don't pick our fruit off the tree or off the ground. We got farm tours. Yeah, I ran yesterday and she said there were six, but there's a lot. Look at that. It's safe, but... So it's $10 a kilo, which isn't too bad, but they are very heavy. Look at that. <gasps> they have bread banana. The window and get We had one of these outside of our tree, outside of the kitchen. Mm -hmm. What does it look like? Those peaches look so good. They're huge. What's this lady finger? This is what my mum uses when we don't have platanos. She just gets lady fingers. The nursery there. They call it Mammy, the Mammy Sapoti. So it says, native to Central America and an excellent source of vitamin C and B6, a good source of riboflavin, niacin, vitamin E, manganese, potassium and dietary fiber. This is very nourishing fruit, it was recorded in 1903 as having kept Cortes and his army alive. Boo on their famous march from Mexico City to Honduras. So we have Mame to blame for that. Usually eaten fresh from hand. It also mixes well with milk to produce excellent custard. My grandma wants one to make a milkshake. So we took one for her. She's gonna make a milkshake and ice cream. These fruits bruise easily when approaching maturity and should be handled with care. Fireless, like av avocado, the mummy, the pooty. The mame has a rich flavor similar to sweet pumpkin pie. Something, I think. There's the mame down there. I'm gonna try that since there wasn't any paletas. Top three combos mame sapote and black sapote. I'll try that one. Got the, so the black sapote and then the mame and banana. I'm just gonna mix it up now. How are you liking the. So she's putting it in there with some. Did you put it with coconut? Yes. Yeah. Mm. Oh my gosh, thank 
Thank you, that looks amazing. Okay, I'm gonna try. Mm. So it has banana, coconut, sorbet, the black sapote, and the mame. So. Tastes like banana. Yeah, <laughs> mostly. I don't know what the sapote tastes like, so I don't know what flavor I'm looking for. It's mostly like banana. Did you like your ice cream? Yeah, and then I got distracted. <laughs> we got some fresh macadamias too. That's a lot of ice cream to eat. It's lactose free because it's made with a coconut sorbet. And it has like the chunks of the sapote, but um. I don't know, I can't really taste it. It's just sweet, hey? Yeah, mine, I mixed mine with strawberries and it just tastes like yummy fruit. Mmm. That's good. It's like creamy. Like a creamy strawberry. That one's really good. Mine tastes like banana. It's just fine. Good view, but we're facing the wrong way. This is Guana. Can you say this one? Guana, Guana, Guayanaba. <laughs> this is Guayanaba, which is salsa, dried dragon fruit, jackfruit, pineapple, star fruit, mango, the fruit salad, banana. Macadamia. I love macadamia. And they have my own avocado skincare, which they produce from the avocados, which is cool. It's a really pretty box. It smells so good, lemon myrtle. So we literally were in El Salvador and we wanted to try the, was it sapote or mame? Um, one of those and my mom said no because you may not like it and it's only for people who really like them. And so we didn't get to try them. <laughs> no, no, sí. mentira, mentira. It's not. No, that's the truth. Porque the truth. outside on the street they were $1. And if you really want I would have gone and We got weren't you, allowed to go on the, the street. Truth. That's the truth. So we headed back home over the border back into Queensland with four sapotes and we are going to share them. So we kept two for ourselves. We got one for my grandmother and my mom got one for her friend as well. And let me tell you, every time somebody came to our house and they saw them, they went straight to them and they said, is this real? Because they were so surprised we had some. So tune in for my next video where I'm going to try it. And we're gonna make some other recipes with them that my mom and my grandma made back in El Salvador.